been to practice and working that clutch situation, always good to be back here. I was going to say, when you do those kinds of things and you see what they did during certain games, like Utah last year, for sure. instance, are, are there other wrinkles that you try to fit into those kinds of things, or is it simple back to fundamentals, you know, down in distance situation, that sure. kind of thing? Yeah, there's always, uh, I guess you always want to have the best plan possible for the kids to be able to execute, but I think uh, specifically in those situations, it's repping them over and over again to have, you know, great urgency with poise and making sure, uh, you know, we're all ready to do the things it takes to win a football game. Initial reaction on how they did? I thought there were some good things for sure at the end there. And just overall, how the quarterbacks now that you've had, now we're in our third week in kind of feeling this thing out. Uh, can you talk a little bit about the, what you've seen out of Jake Browning? Yeah, uh, you know, we think Jake's doing a good job. I mean, again, with him, it's um, taking the next step for him is, is obviously on another level. He's ran a lot of these plays thousands of times, and for him it's maybe some of the nuances of uh, moving a guy here, looking a guy off, and so forth. Um, you know, we think the young guys are coming on and doing some good things. Now, I know Coach Peterson likes to talk to it as a seating chart. But it certainly looks like if the seating chart was done today, that, that Jake Ainer would be that number two guy. He's done a great job. And again, I think he's uh, he's came out here and played with that type of edge that we need him to. Uh, done a really good job with his accuracy, making plays. And, uh, you know, we're happy where he's at. Is there anything differentiating the true freshman right now? No, I mean, right now we're just, we're, we're trying to get him as many reps as possible, get him, you know, some, some good looks at some things and uh, playing as fast as they can. When they take advantage of situations like this, like you said, it was, you know, the, the last minute stuff, but there was also a lot of short yardage stuff. There was a lot of goal line type stuff as well. Um, did you feel like overall uh, they achieved what you wanted to today? Because it looked like there were a lot of touchdowns made out, which obviously is part of the part of the plan. Yeah, you know, it's it's always about the situational part of it. I think early on we're really practicing just running plays. Now they got to make some decisions. You know, it's third and three. Um, is it a risk I'm wor you know worth taking to make that throw down the field, or is it a situation we just got to go get the first down? So I think it's those kind of things. Not just understand the play, but also the situation that's critical. Now, 